So cute. Right? When that came out, I didn't. I wasn't living here at the time, but I had lived here previously. I didn't realize though that she was at a Mariners game. That a is so cool. Little Safeco feel, <laughs> making its international. With the cotton candy, remember? <laughs> any little kid with cotton candy, there's Love something it. about it. It's the sugar, is what it is, and it's going to be great. And it just melts in your mouth. Right? I remember that's it's why just I so liked it. It's so dirty as a parent. It's like, oh, it's everywhere and it's, and it's sticky. sticky. Yeah. But it's going to be a great weekend for people if they have the chance. They they're outdoors at a festival or something. Yeah. And they can get out. What a weekend it's going to be. Sticky cotton candy weather for sure. Yeah. Definitely. It's going to be a hot one. It probably won't be as hot today as it was yesterday. Get this, Steve. We hit 89 degrees at SeaTac nice. Airport. So you know I like that. I mean, I knew the South Sound was going to have that potential. I didn't necessarily think that SeaTac Airport was going to get that hot, but it sure did. And we are looking to be slightly, I say slightly cooler today just because we have that area of low pressure off to our north. In the meantime, I mean, Sun is not an issue, right? We've got plenty of that. Unless you don't like the sun, I guess it could be an issue. <laughs> but high pressure is still over us, and that's mainly dominating our forecast going forward. But you can see that area of low pressure not far to our north, and that could be bringing in uh, maybe a cloud or two, but you can see it really doesn't look like it's causing an issue at all. But also slightly we're still going to be in the 80s for most spots, so I say slightly cooler temperatures. Right now, though, we're already heating things up. Chehalis, you are at 80 degrees on the nose. We've got 76 in Seattle, 78 Arlington. Now, there are a couple cooler spots. Port Angeles, uh, 66, 68 along the coast. So it just depends on where you are, but you will all start heating up soon if you haven't already. Here is a look at the high temperatures for today. So again, along the coast and up in the northwest interior in the island communities, usually some of the cooler spots. So we're looking at 70s majority there. But as we get into the central sound, you can see we're looking at upper 70s to the mid 80s. So we do have a little bit of a range there. But again, everyone's going to have ample sunshine and we're going to be warm, unseasonably warm. As we get into the south sound, of course, that's one of the warmer spots. And we're looking at mid 80s pretty much all around. Maybe a couple more upper 80s. Look at Puyallup. I've got you at 88 there. And as we take a look along the coast, as I mentioned, that is one of the cooler spots where we have some 60s, some 70s, but still lots of sunshine. Southwest interior, though, ooh, one of the warmer spots as well. Let's go over to eastern Washington where everyone knows what 300 days of sun. That's what they say over there. And we are expecting temperatures today in the 90s to the triple digits. So pretty much no matter where you go, you probably just have to jump in the water to cool off at this point because it is going to be warm across Washington and it's going to stick around for a while. What about the next few hours though? It's time for Fido's forecast to get you through that. And this is Blake. How cute is that face? Blake is enjoying this lovely weather. And I also want to remind you, since it is so hot, you know, you want to drink plenty of water, but make sure your pets out, outside outdoors have plenty of water as well. And they're well taken care of because they're not used to it being this hot here, you know, all the time. So temperatures as we go into five, seven o'clock, if you're getting off work and you're going to walk them, we're looking at lower 80s. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. And we're going to, like I said, keep this nice weather for quite some time. I mean, it's not really moving much. We are going to stay dry, which is a good and a bad thing because we do need the water, of course, that we do need the water our our grasses and everything like that but you know if you want to be outside you want it to be dry especially in the summertime but look at sunday we're looking at upper 80s to the lower 90s guys so it is and even as we go into the beginning of next week it's going to stay mm -hmm. pretty hot so just plan ahead wear your sunblock your sunglasses and drink plenty of water try to get in the water if at all possible yes on a hike can concentrate on anything once you see one of those cute puppies behind you on the weather screen that i know me, sometimes i get distracted lake but. was really cute yeah. still is okay uh,